Okay, hopefully recording. Yeah, it looks like it's recording the full area of the screen. <laughs> Can I play a bit quicker than that? Uh, a few ideas there. <clears throat> okay. So leaders. Um, right, round two. Getting a pre move straight away. Going for a Dutch stonewall, I think. And uh, big knot on e4. Get rid of this um, light square bishop at some point. Maybe stop c5. Maybe c6 for a bishop retreat. Get the bishop out to h5. Uh, with this zigzag maneuver. Get knight e4 in. Queen e8. Queen h5. Mate on h2. <laughs> Standard plan. Uh, so I have to defend e6 though for the moment. What about c5, b6? c5, knight d7, and then queen g6 actually change the plan here. It's putting a lot of pressure on the center. Oh, I need to sort of pressurize the c file. Maybe rook c8 is good here. I've got rid of that bad invert commas light square bishop. But, oh, knight d2, okay, was a threat. Uh, whoops, I've just given him a big diagonal though, but c4 is a bit weak. Uh, but knight d4. Okay, let's defend that. So c4, maybe knight b6 attacking c4. I've got a big tie advantage. Uh, so c5 is thankfully not winning a piece. So hitting these two pawns. So knight a4 here or knight c4? Maybe knight c4 more central. Hitting the bishop. Then there's also knight e3 hitting the rook. Oh, there isn't knight c2. Okay, maybe knight g4, bishop c5. It's going to be strong here. Then Okay, if I can get a rook to h6 at some point, or just knight h2, mate. Cool. Okay. Check out the King's Crusher Cafe. That's been pretty busy uh, yesterday and today. It's got quite a few people in it at the moment, 20 people. Just checking that out. Okay, let's go back to the tournament. Um, right. So, it's a round robin this tournament. Doing all right in it so far. Average rating two zero eight zero, quite a high average rating. Games in progress. Our oh, Enk is in it. Dangerous opponent. Okay, actually, let's just check out what opening he played. Ah, oh, too late. Okay, I'm playing Enk anyway. Uh, when it starts, am I losing? Oh, that was this game. Oh, it's confusing me. Okay, round two has ended. I've got a surprise up my sleeve. I'll play e4 and b3 against Enk if he plays Sicilian or French. It's my new little surprise weapon for Bullet, <laughs> which I don't think many people are prepared for. <laughs> well, it's surprisingly good results, just getting people out of the um, the old opening territory, known opening territory from books and stuff. <laughs> Seems to be an interesting gambit if I get the white pieces. I think mean, it's black, I'd like to play gambits as well, on, on Bullet especially. Um, okay, Stravosky, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, this already looks uncomfortable for me because I've sort of given him. Oh, e6, maybe ef, not bad. Surely he didn't want that. Now I can open the centre. Maybe c4, d5. He's not using that much time, is he, on his clock? But um. Okay, so I seem to have some line opening. The weakness of the diagonal, I'm hoping, will be good. Bishop d5 is a threat now with knight c7, uh, which he's parried, as these good players do. Okay, uh, c4. I'm just, I'm just giving that away, or, or not? Uh, I can take on here and take on e6 to maintain my light square bishop. Um, I don't know if it was worth it though. Uh, there's a lot of trouble now. Uh, just lost the exchange. Wonderful. Just lost the exchange. Ouch. Uh, there. Okay. What about a4? Oh dear. It's all came downhill. Proper exchange down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, peace down. Uh, now. It all got worse and worse and worse. I think I'll just resign. Ouch. Uh, 
<laughs> Ouch. <laughs> to say the least. This, this guy's not bad. 2585 general rating. So, uh, so much for my surprise weapon. <laughs> Ouch. Let's do an action replay. Oh, I think I could have done my gambit here. Uh, which is another alternative. We'll just, or just, um, you know, just F4 is an interesting gambit. 94 Queen E2. Then, then try and castle rapidly on the Queen side. But maybe it wouldn't have made much difference. Oh well. I mean, this looked promising for a while. Uh, this position. Um, maybe I messed it up here, big time. Uh, maybe just Knight F3. Hmm. So he parried the threat of bishop d5 and queen d5 with the idea of knight c7 there with rook c8. And uh, I'm under fire now. Maybe best just knight take c3. Oh well. This was no good. Then the check. So knight d4 hitting e6 and c2. Uh, so I'm really on the defensive now, it seems. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we have French. Okay, exchange. We get knight to g6, I think. If I get knight to shield my king and threaten. Maybe some aggressive stuff like Bishop H takes H3 later. If I put Bishop H3, I put the Bishop over here. Oh, maybe not. Just protect E6 for the moment. Uh, oh, Bishop F5 is rookie one check. I get E4 square now. Hitting G3. We can get the rook into F6. Uh, or just. And treat the bishop to be able to play queen somewhere. Okay, maybe it's not the hottest idea to give up the dark square bishop there. Uh, there's knight c3 as a threat. Knight f2. Actually, I'll just reinforce it for the moment. Uh, this probably wasn't the greatest. Knight f4. Uh, okay, what about knight f4 now? And I go about knight d3. Knight d3, that looks okay. Hitting f2. And can I get the other rook to be doing something? Rook e7 to f7. Hitting f2 again. And getting a bit of a clock advantage as well. That's good news. Oh, queen and pre. Uh, I think it's all over. Uh, let's just tuck the king over. Me rook f3, rook g3. Let's just rip open the king. Rook g2, queen e3. Actually, I should have just done queen f3 there now, surely. Okay, take this guy. And take this guy. And soon it will be mate, surely. Oh, avoid stalemate. <laughs> the G5 would be a stalemate. <laughs> oh, that would be tragic, wouldn't it? Oh. So, I don't know, Stravowski seems, I don't know, he crushed someone else. Let's have a quick look. Uh, was it utterly crushing? Uh, so, he took the pawn, gambit pawn, and. Probably crashed through the centre, didn't he? I expect. Looks tactically very strong. Oops. Okay, Enk. Let's see how the surprise weapon fares here. Oh, I can play e6 again. I wonder with a different result. Surely this has to be okay. I haven't had this variation before. Now I've had it twice. <laughs> going for these light squares. Castling queenside. Surely. There's knight f4 though. Maybe g3 first. 
Okay, C2 is a bit vulnerable, I guess. But if he takes double, I can double the pawn to protect D4. If I castle queenside, then D5 pressure, threatening like, rook D7, bishop E6 now. Uh, threatening again, rook D7, bishop E6. Now putting more pressure on E6. Go for the old H file attack. Got a four second advantage. The old H file attack might help. Ah, especially here. G4 winning a piece. Uh, still winning piece because the bishop's now going to be in pre. This looks good. More successful than uh, than the other game. So B fives here. I could have just taken maybe there. Okay, closing up. But can I just get a knight to f five now? Knight e three to f five threatens. Knight f5 check, nice knight on f f5 coming up. Um, still knight f5, also rook d7 is a threat. Uh, so just just win the exchange here. Get the queen off. I think rook d7 was also strong there. Maybe c4, bishop e5, rook d7. Or oh, just taking off this pawn. Uh oh, I'm short on time. Have to queen this pawn. Okay, let's avoid. Making a mess of this. Oh, just one on time by naught point naught one of a second. Blimey. Okay, that was pretty close to lose on time in that position. Well as a rook up. What happened there on my clock? Whoa. <laughs> Second place anyway. Blimey. Painfully close. I think did I become lax laps lax? I became lax or something. Um so anyway, Shavosky won it, I think, with a perfect score, I guess. Oh no, he's just he did lose a game four. So it was just on the tie break. Okay. Um so anyway, I hope to see you on, on Chess Cube in some of these tournaments also the King's Crusher Cafe. Okay, um Right. Cheers. Thanks very much.